Little by little, day by day, we're learning more about what to expect from the 2016 New York Giants. We spoke to the assistant coaches on Friday, and my three main takeaways are, number one, let's start with the play calling. New offensive coordinator Mike Sullivan talked a little bit about it, said he enjoyed doing it in the past in Tampa Bay, would look forward to doing it again here if given that opportunity. It's something him and new coach Ben McAdoo talk about. Now, McAdoo has been very guarded about this. He mentioned he, that they've already made this decision, but they're not going to tell anybody. Now, my gut, now this is just my gut, and this is a pretty big gut right now, is saying that Mike Sullivan, the offensive coordinator, is actually going to be the one to call the plays, which is a little bit of a surprise because when McAdoo was hired, I thought for sure he'd be, the, you know, he'd take that responsibility. He's put himself on the line and be the one to call the plays. My second takeaway, Olivier Vernon, Jason Pierre-Paul, both of them have spent most of their careers on the right side as the right defensive end, matched up against the left tackle. Defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo said, the likelihood is that Vernon will be on the right side, he'll be against these tough left tackles of the NFC East, and JPP will be on the left. That's the spot they put him last year in part because of the hand. And number three, we saw the new gym. We saw the new weightlifting area at the Giants facility. Now, it's one thing to hear about how they're going to make these changes, and it's another thing to see it. We saw just a row of Kaiser machines. You saw an entire wall, a massive collection of dumbbells. Look, these may seem like small things, but for the Giants, this is a big thing. They're trying to keep their guys healthy, and one of the things Ben McAdoo keeps saying it, they're forward thinking in this regard. That's how they're looking at it. And they're going to try to make changes in that weight room and the strength and conditioning program and keep guys healthier this season. Those are my three main takeaways from Friday. See you again soon.